The skies are clear right now. We are here at the Museum of Science where folks are just a little bit excited for this eclipse, as you might imagine. And you know, this is really all about science when this all happens, right? You get an eclipse, a total solar eclipse, when the moon gets between the Earth and the sun and they line up just exactly so that the light from the sun is completely blocked out when you are totally in the moon shadow, the umbra, all right? And that is where you're having the total eclipse. Outside of that, well, that's where you get the partial eclipse. And that's what we are gonna experience here in New England and really across a huge part of the country. The total eclipse, that path, is only about 115 miles wide, so within that path, Path of totality is certainly something pretty special and that's where the skies will go completely dark as this eclipse happens this afternoon. You can see along that path there is some weather to contend with, especially down in Texas where there may be some severe weather today. So from Dallas on up toward the Little Rock area, there will be clouds and maybe some storms as well. Then as you get farther north, you can see the clouds break apart a little bit, but even out toward the Buffalo area, there are going to be a lot of clouds around. Where Kellyanne is up in Burlington in the path of totality, I think we're just looking at some very thin high clouds just starting to work in. The visibility should still be good. Best viewing may be up through parts of northern New Hampshire and northern Maine for this eclipse today where the sky should be completely clear. About quarter past two here locally, that's when we'll watch the edge of the moon start to move over the edge of the sun, which you will be able to see if you have these glasses. If you don't, you don't want to be looking straight up at the sun, but you can kind of uh, project that image onto something and we'll talk more about that coming up. But this is going to reach its peak locally around 3.30 this afternoon. That's when the skies will get a little bit dimmer and then it will start to move away and this whole thing will wrap up just after 4.30 this afternoon. So that is the timeline here on the eclipse and we could not be more situated perfectly here with high pressure overhead giving us sunshine. For today, it's allowed the temperatures to drop overnight though. We're down in the 20s in some of our coldest spots this morning, but a nice recovery Recovery. We will jump up with the sunshine to temperatures in the 50s here by late morning and into the low 60s this afternoon. May get as mild as the mid 60s in some spots with 50s on Cape Cod. There are those high clouds starting to stream in this afternoon. They will tend to thicken up a little bit tonight and then start to break up. So we'll call it partly cloudy here in the overnight. It's going to be chilly again. We'll be down in the 30s, some of our coldest spots in the upper 20s. And then as we go into the day tomorrow, partly sunny, there will be a sea breeze developing. Notice at the coast it's in the 50s, but inland areas around in just over 60 once again. So at Fenway Park for that Red Sox home opener tomorrow, bring a jacket. It will be a little bit chilly with temperatures in the low 50s dropping into the upper 40s. As this warm front approaches on Wednesday, we get into a few showers, but then it turns wetter for the end of the week. Take a look. We're looking at rain and winds picking up as we go from Thursday into Friday, and that rain could be heavy once again. Computer models estimating we could be talking about another inch of rain that should be moving out on Saturday with that gusty wind continuing. So clearing this weekend and it will be a little bit milder temperatures staying above average back in the 50s and lower 60s much of the week. So good weather for the eclipse today and for the most part that home opener for the Sox tomorrow.